good morning. Well, it's lunchtime, really. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we had a little shower this morning, so I had to stand out there in the raindrops for a while just to <laughs> enjoy it. Then I came in, took my gown off, and got some dry clothes on. <laughs> Oh, but I hadn't got wet. I'd probably still be in my pajamas. Oh, well, that's life. <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is what we do. <laughs> We're retired, or we think we are, or we love to crochet, and we just love to get up in the morning and <sighs> have a fresh shower. <laughs> yes, a fresh shower. Yes. Well, it's uh, about noon time. And the, it's uh, 81 degrees outside, which is a good good sign for the day. It's sort of an overcast. We had a light shower. No thunder, lightning, wind, or anything bad. Just a, I guess it didn't last for about an hour, and I'll take it. No problem at all. <laughs> I was going to take some hummingbird food and take it out there and put the hummingbird feeder. I said that yesterday, and I forgot it. Oh, and they were out and this morning. They were in the sh in the sh light shower of the rain, and they went to the hummingbird feeder. And there wasn't anything. I feel so sorry for them. But I had Itsy on my lap, and I had my fresh cup of coffee, <laughs> and I was lazy. Does that mean I'm a bad person? Maybe I don't know. But I made my list this morning of things to do, and it's so funny today. I had a comment. I think you'd enjoy it, guys. From Mrs. C, it says, My grandfather always said that you have to have a schedule. I never understood it until I retired. Time just flies by, and I got nothing done. <laughs> Been there! <laughs> That's all <laughs> His words come back to me and mean so much and meant so much then. Of course, he was special. If I don't plan out my day with at least three things I want to accomplish, I get nothing done but my nap. <laughs> I mean, your club is safe. <laughs> I am, I am. <laughs> As I laid in bed this morning, I was thinking of all the things. I said, what has something I've never done in my whole life that should be on my bucket list? You know what come to mind? Yes, you're right, the mind. <laughs> in Arkansas, we have the Murphy's Barrel. Uh, well, R Murphy's Barrel has a, uh, I guess it's the only diamond crater that is open to the public and if you go there it's like ten dollars to get in and uh, you go you can have, bring your supplies or whatever and get out there and find your diamond they find a diamond out there someone does every day every day and then they pick it up, you know, you pick up your diamond out there in the mud after you probably had, you probably had, uh, what did they call those, galoshes on, you know. And you dress, you don't care, because you're going to get dirty, and you have to have gloves. And then you go out there in the middle of this field that they've turned, and you just scoop you up some rocks and put them in your bucket. And then you carry it over to this washing station that's set up, and you actually wash the dirt-covered stones you picked up. Now, that area is very famous for crystals. Uh, they just lay on top of the forest out there, and you can't pick them up, you know, if they're in the national park and stuff. So, a lot of people get confused when they see a crystal. They think it's a diamond, but there are diamonds and the thing is, the diamonds just keep coming out of the earth all the time, constantly. And then they turn it so that people can get in there and work the soil. And I was thinking, I have never done that. And it's right here. It's not an hour and a half from my house. 
And I'm an Arkansan, born and raised. And I should have, I should have gone. I've had opportunities to go, didn't go. So I was thinking, okay, what is my plan? Do I have a plan to go to the Crater of Diamonds in Murfreesboro, Arkansas? Well, first, I don't drive, so I need somebody to drive. My sister can't drive that far, so that kicks that out. I've got to find somebody that will drive me that I have to pay for, evidently. Or either they take me and I pay their way, their lunch or whatever. There you go. Or I go down there by Uber, check into a hotel close by, and take a cab or Uber over to the mines and work in the fields. Now, I can't walk too good. And I didn't see where it says, bring your hub around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So then I'd have to pay for the person who brought me to go out there and get rocks to take them out to the washing thing so I could sit in my hover out and wash the rocks so I could find a diamond. It's addictive, they say. So addictive because if you find one, no matter how small it is, you take it immediately into the rangers, you know, the, the Arkansas State Rangers, Parks and Tourism. And then they take that diamond and they tell you what it is, the size of it and all that. And then they put it in a little souvenir box. And there's people who got these little souvenir diamonds, you know, and they may have 20 of them, these little tiny diamonds. And they will not sell them. No, they're theirs and they found them. And I was thinking, I've never done that. Why haven't I done that? And what, how can I do that? How can I get this accomplished? Because you gotta have money <laughs> to do it. So the Uber will probably be a, what, at $60 to go down there. $60 to come back. No, maybe an hour and a half. I don't, that's, I don't know how many, I have to check that out, see exactly how much it would cost. It would really be nice if I found somebody that wants to go down there <laughs> and I will pay the expenses. I'd be cheaper. <laughs> but they'd have to go out there and get the gravel and I have to make sure that my hub around can get where I need to go. But uh, anyway, that's what I was thinking this morning as I was laying in bed. I should have been thinking all kinds of things, but I was planning. I was making a plan. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to try to do that. <laughs> Have a plan. Your grandfather was right, Miss C. <laughs> and Bonnie Myers. Hey, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm sure she'll love the blanket. May God bless you with a, with a great day. And you too, Bonnie. Yes, I think she will. Everyone that I've made a red afghan for, I don't care what the pattern is, they love it. <laughs> That's why I don't have one. <laughs> Maybe I should just get red and just forget about the rest of it. I mean, you know, all this other color. What, what is that? I mean, no. <laughs> I like it all, unfortunately. I like it all. And Mabel Bell, Maribel is hooked. Hey, Maribel, I've got to download your pictures you put on Facebook, with your permission, of course, and try to get them up on my YouTube because people can see your work. I love the purses you're making. They're just so cute. Okay, cases. Mary Bell is hooked. Hi. This last 50 for me and 50 for you content creators could ask to content creators could ask to be a part of it if you didn't get asked. Oh, you could ask them. Oh, I never thought <laughs> Well, it's almost the end of it now, I think. In fact, I think the, the, tomorrow's the last day, I think. Didn't get answered. Uh, great to see you. Hope you're having a great weekend. <laughs> yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> good to see you, Mayor Bell. Keeping busy? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> oh, here's Jill. Robert W. Heights. Jill. Meanwhile, this is Jill. My coffee spilt on my black pants the arm of my dark brown chair, a little of the carpet, a corner of my crochet shawl. I cleaned and cleaned it up with no stains. 
There you go, girl. <laughs> Good for you. But there's a slight, nice aroma of coffee. <laughs> And me, Ma, I'm a loving that. I <laughs> love you. I would love it. <laughs> you know, out of every bad, there's a good. Isn't there? <laughs> you done good, girl. You done good. <laughs> oh, it's Teresa. She says, hi, me, Ma. I love all the wonderful things you got today. Well, thank you. Yes, I did, too. <laughs> oh, I did, too. <laughs> well, that's about all I'm going to talk about today. Because <laughs> the animals are driving me crazy. They've been in and out and in and out and in and out. And I think I'm going to have to keep them out. You know, it's just beautiful weather. And I need to do that. Remember, God has you in his hands. Palm of his hand. And Mother Earth. Needs our help to keep her clean. Do something. Take care of our earth. Yep. And we got to take care of our bees and our butterflies. And get out of the chair. Move around a little bit today. If you have a chance. Or if you're already tired. And then you sit down. And you've already accomplished your day. You've done your Bible study. You've gone to church. Or you slept in. Or who knows what. Whatever makes you you happy. Did I say that right? You're special and make yourself happy. Put a smile on that face. Come on. You can do it. Now laugh. Belly laugh. For no reason. Did you belly I don't hear you. Just belly laugh. My mama taught me that. She says, just belly laugh. And all of a sudden, everything's perfect. <laughs> so laugh. Did I hear you? Laugh, just barely laugh for no reason at all. <laughs> or maybe th laugh about the aroma of the coffee. <laughs> the residue from a spilled coffee cup. <laughs> oh, please carry on with your life. Be happy. Be safe. I love you. Thank you for <laughs> joining me today. I'm sorry I'm late. But better late than ever. Remember... Not about every bad that comes good, I've told. And uh, Grandpa, <laughs> Mrs. C's Grandpa says, have a plan. Especially when you retire. Plan something to do or you will not do. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>